It came from when I first started interning, uh, which was as game production intern, and that was during the first during our launch for Trail of the Twister. So I like to kind of say I came in with Tot, uh, and in Trail of the Twister there is that jackalope display, and I was super excited that that existed in there because one, I really did like jackalopes before then. My sisters and I became advisory panelists for a long time and we became familiar with some of the people here. And then after college, I asked um, uh, one of the designers if uh, they would consider having me as an intern. So six months later, we got, I got approved for being an intern and that's how I came in from, for game production for a few months. I was 14 when I joined advisory panel. I mean, I've been a fan of the game since I was 11, but I've been a part of Herman Interactive for a little over 10 years, yes. Nancy Drew Games, the first time I noticed Nancy Drew Games, I was with my sisters at a GameStop store at the mall. My sisters found the Nancy Drew Message in Haunted Mansion on the shelf, and we had to buy that one right away. We were kind of hesitant, because what are they doing to my Nancy Drew, is what my first thought was. We started playing Message in Haunted Mansion, loved it, went back to the store as soon as we finished it, got Stay Tuned for Danger, Finished that in a couple days and immediately went back to get Secrets Can Kill. Played that in less than a day. And then uh, we were just anticipating the, the next game ever since. From my perspective, marketing is reaching our fans, reaching new audiences, and getting people aware of the games and then interested in actually buying them. Would it be too cliche to say it's about Nancy Drew? I really love the company. I love how it's a small company and there's always something new going on with um, what we're doing. There's always a new game to look forward to, there's a new game to play, there's um, you know, always new projects that we get to do in marketing and it's always so exciting. A red panda. And they look like raccoons and bears and foxes mixed all together. They're so cute. We plan to have items as soon as they become available with our partners. Our partners only make so many products and they only print on so many products. But I will say that we are already planning on some new items for the summer of 2013, so we we'll look forward to that. That exists. Dylan exists on a pillowcase. Ned's on a pillowcase. Oh, we should get Dave on a pillowcase. Oh. Yes. That would be awesome. The favorite thing that I own right now, this is a little silly, but I actually like the Sunny June um, mouse pad that we have because one, it's his notebook from Ransom of the Seven Ships, Two, the exact same mouse pad is seen on Mason's desk in The Deadly Device. And I think it's so cool to have something from in the game actually on your own desk. My favorite location that I would love to visit someday would be London, England. So Curse of Blackmore Manors, England. Oh, superhero power name. My superpower would probably be flying, because that's got to be really fun. My name would be probably flying. It's not very intimidating, <laughs> but I just like, I, I, that's another animal that I really like, flying squirrels or sugar gliders. Creating a trailer. Well, first, it helps if you've played the game. We start with um, a design a storyline for the trailer, the key points we want to show, and then we start grabbing images and gameplay footage and we start recording um, or we start gathering the all the art assets and elements from the story, the audio, um, puzzles, we put it all together and we start uh, laying them out on the track in the video editing software. And then from after we rendered out one pass, we review it and then make any suggestions, edits, is the story flowing well, are we showing all that we want to show here, is the audio and general specs 
fitting to what we want it to, to be uh, for YouTube and for our website. And then we just go back and forth with different edits um, to make it exactly how we want to present it to our fans. Oh, I do. It's so much fun. It's like my favorite part of the day, too. When you get to talk about Nancy Drew games, or Nancy Drew in general, or about what we're doing. So it's kind of like a diary. That is such a terrible, tough question. Um, wow. You know what? Because I'm so faithful to Nancy Drew, I have to be faithful to Ned. Because he was always there throughout the old books, and those are the books that I read. Um, but if Nancy was to pair up with a detective partner for any adventure, it would probably have to be Frank. I would have to choose Ned first, though. By that close of a margin. I would probably see myself a lot as Ryan Kilpatrick from The Deadly Device. Not nearly as energetic as her, but probably the same mindset and loves technology. I do. If people give up at the face of a challenge, that frustrates me so much. At least try to try, is what I would say. <laughs> um, well, there's always Dave. <laughs> Um, but let me make sure that would be my choice. Dylan has problems. Mason has problems. Mason's really smart. Everyone else is pretty old. Dexter was old. Jacques is taken. Charlie is too young. Logan is annoying. Joe? would be a lot of fun to have on a date. I would pick Joe. Even though Dave is pretty cool looking, I think Joe would be more fun to have on a date. Yeah, um, one thing that I would advise to a lot of our, a lot of our fans is um, start taking classes that interest you. And then find out what classes would um, find out what those class careers would lead to or those skills would lead to in the future. Take classes that are associated with that and you might find some other things that you're interested in. But start with the things that interest you first. Do your research, ask questions, and you'll get somewhere that you will absolutely love in the job center.